at this point, I have to say, Cleveland to me looks like a stale bag of bread. I mean, they just it just looks so stale to me. They have shot their wad. They are done, and that team is done. They need to, uh, and this isn't even, they've been together a few months, right? This is not a team that's been together for this whole four-year run. This is a, a brand new team that they put together for this run, this year, three months ago, right? Isn't that about right? So this team obviously uh, can't get it done, even with him. They cannot get it done with LeBron James. They can't even win a game with LeBron James against this team. What does that tell you about how dominant they are, that LeBron James can't even win a game or win a game on his home floor? Or, in the last two minutes of the game, do anything except turn the ball over? Or not even score? Like, I think he scored, I saw him score one, one layup, right? I, I just don't, I, I'm not going to bemoan his triple-double. He gets a triple-double when he gets out of bed in the morning. But he's done there. There's nothing left for him in Cleveland, baby. It's over. I mean, trust me, he's finished there. And he knows they're finished. They are so done after this. That team, in my view, will not even sniff the NBA Finals next year, with or without him. I'm serious. You would have to say Boston automatically is better next year with Kyrie and Hayward back, and that team that was already loaded that lost to them in seven, right? That team's loaded, and they're, got, they're taking the next step next year. That's how that's shaking out. And then the Warriors will kick their ass. The Warriors are going to beat up on Boston next year.